Water may be restored in some areas, but some are going to be cleaning up for weeks, maybe even months. Yeah, that's going to include Daniel Boone High School, where a sprinkler system burst Christmas Day, doing a lot of damage to the gymnasium floor, as you can see there. We saw the damage up close for the first time today. As school leaders were hoping to complete a damage assessment sometime this week, News Channel 11's John Janko found out what happens next. John? Sarah, the school is awaiting for the results of its insurance assessment before it makes any repairs to the Daniel Boone basketball court. One half of the court sustained most of the damage, while the cafeteria and office did receive some damage to carpets and rugs. But that gym floor alone could cost between $200,000 and $300,000 for a full replacement, according to Director of Schools Jerry Boyd. It's possible the district could decide to replace just the half with the majority of damage. Regardless, Boyd says the district has the money to do it. The board has the capacity to cover that, uh, but there'll be a lot of discussion, that, that insurance discussion and about the fund balance and so on and so forth. Water seeped in under the court after a concession stand sprinkler busted in those cold temperatures two weekends ago. Boyd says the district could look at better insulating pipes, especially ones located near the exterior of buildings like this one. With the gym out of commission, boys and girls varsity basketball will be pay played at Boone's Creek Elementary School, an adjustment for those student athletes. You do have to adapt, um, and, and when you're faced with adversity, you respond and, and you and you make the best of it. But you know they're still going to be able to to uh, share their talents and 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 play their game, and and uh, and and spectators are going to be able to support them. District still looking for a location for JV basketball and wrestling. In terms of classes, Boyd says only physical education should be impacted. That could move to an auxiliary gymnasium. Crews will be back at the school tomorrow for carpet cleaning in some areas that received minor damage.